All right, let me give this another shot. I just recorded probably my best video ever. I would go save it. It blew my machine up. Oh well. All right. Well, welcome to class, chillins. I hope that you missed me. You're so quiet when I'm there. It'd be funny if you were horrible while I'm away. So tonight when I'm sleeping and it's perfectly quiet, I'll be thinking of you guys. Maybe just for fun, I'll ask my wife questions that she won't respond to. And it'll feel like I'm there with my third hour. So hooray! My wife, my wife is uh, looking at me with mean eyes. Maybe I uh, was a little rude there. I apologize. Um, <laughs> anyway, you'll probably be used to this because it's just going to be me talking and you not talking back. <laughs> okay, moving on. Make sure your lab books are open to this page. I believe page 11 or 12. I don't remember. I don't have a lab book in front of me. But we're going to talk about percent concentrations. It's the second thing as far as we're concerned when we talk about the concentration or the way to quantitatively describe concentration. If you hear things in the background, that's my wife and kids. Um, they're excited to hear this lecture, so I wanted to make sure and get it done before they went to sleep. So, <laughs> Summer and Spencer, my wife, says hi. So anyway, here we go. Sweet timing on that one. All right, so hopefully you will remember. Sorry, my kids started to throw a fit right then. All right. Oh, my Snuggie was falling off my shoulder. Percent concentrations. That's what we're going to talk about. You'll remember the number one we already talked about was molarity. No, that's an O. Molarity was equal to moles per liter. It was a way we could express concentration. We said the moles of solute, and that's my solid, were divided by liters of solutions. So that's the stuff I was going to make. Percent concentration might seem more familiar to you. Percent concentration, so let's fill that blank in. Now, and you can't make fun of my writing because I have to write on something that doesn't show words and the words don't or letters don't show up for about a second after I write. So if it's ugly, I'm sorry. Alright, so percent concentrations can be used in the following way. Alright, so we're just going to talk about part A in this video clip. The percent mass over mass is the number of grams of solute. So once again, that's my solid. Alright. Um, per gram of solution expressed as a percent. All right, so I would have grams solute over grams solution. Now remember, if we it's the solution, the grams of solution would be equal to the grams solute plus grams solvent. All right, so let's make sure when we ever, whenever we do this on the bottom, we make sure we add both parts for mass over mass. All right, so we have grams of solute up here in this little blank put solution times 100. And that's the percent mass over mass. This is not much different than finding the percent of boys in the class. That's equal to the boys divided by total. And the total is boys plus girls. Okay? It's not any more difficult than that. So we're going to work through a sample problem in the next video. Um, it's just right there below it in your notes. Uh, go ahead and look at that, and we'll look at that in the next video.